Hello everyone. Uh, this last video in the series around uh, modeling cost and cost distance in ArcGIS uh, is going to introduce the concepts of cost allocation uh, and then use that to also demonstrate those source characteristics that I talked about earlier. Um, so distance actually measures um, your distance and I'm putting that in quotes you can't see so let's call it really your cost distance, right? How much cost you accumulate getting to a certain point or a series of points. Um, allocation reclassifies uh, and creates a new raster that simply uh, creates zones of sorts. And those zones would simply mean, you know, for this point, here are all the areas where you accumulate the least cost getting to me. For this point, here are all the areas you accumulate the least cost getting to me. And for this last point, here are all the areas you accumulate the least cost getting to me. So I'm going to show you how it runs, and then I'm actually going to uh, test out those source characteristics because I've given each of them some values in their attribute tables that are helpful, right? I've given a multiplier factor, uh, which really says, you know, this cell here, actually, or sorry, this source uh, moves like 2.5 times slower than the rest. So every uh, cell, every friction cell, every cost cell it passes through, it's going to be 2.5 times greater than the ones down here. And then we'll do one uh, with time as well and imagining that, you know, before this one can get traveling, it will take three minutes. Before this one can get traveling, it'll take three. But before this one can get traveling, it'll only take two. Uh, so starting just simple um, with the cost allocation, spatial analyst, distance, cost allocation. Drag them in. This will stay the same. Uh, let's keep it nice and simple. We'll do the one where I couldn't walk on streets. Uh, no source characteristics here. Let's just run the tool and uh, show you what comes back. All right, very good. Super clean, super easy. This area up here, any cell in this area is closer, or sorry, has a lower cost to get to this point. Any point here has a lower to get here, and anything uh, in this area of red has the uh, lowest cost to get here, right? That's an allocation zone. So let's uh, do the same thing, except let's bring in that multiplier like I said before. You know, so now what's going to happen is it's going to run the identical calculation, but it's going to put these multipliers in front of each cell, right? So for every cell up here, this one has to multiply it by 2.5. And I'll call it NS multiplier. Get the source characteristics multiplier. I'll take it from a field and I'll take it from the multiplier field. And right, it won't look dramatically different, but you'll notice that there's a certain change, right? As you'd expect, this one zone of allocations is going to shrink a little bit because it has a higher multiplier. And that's just what happened, right? This zone grew into its old space. And in the same way, this one grew west. Bing, bada, boom, right? So the multiplier allows you to, uh, you know, times each cell as it's, uh, you know, estimating its cost or its path by a certain um, fixed number. So now let's do the same thing but with time. Um, no source characteristics at first. We'll simply say you guys and the uh, cost raster this time is walk time or measuring time. I'll just say minutes. That's what really this is. Um, and what you'll see is, you know, given the fact that we created an equation or we sorry, created a grid uh, where you could walk quicker on paths and driveways than you could through buildings or on grass, right? So the algorithm is going to um, prioritize those kinds of areas. Just gives us a sense of what our zones of allocation look like. Uh, pretty cool. You know, this one at first may seem funky. Um, but let me make the argument, um, this thing, once it gets here, gets on a sidewalk. And once it gets on a sidewalk, it has free reign to walk extremely quickly down into any of this area. Right? So that's why it can go quicker than this one, which would have to cut across all this area where there's no paths before it even was able to catch up to that one. Um, so let's just do the same exact thing, but let's do that start cost. Now it's going to take three minutes before this one can get going, three minutes before this one can get going, and two minutes before this. All right, so not much will change here, but you will start to see the gap get closed, right? That extra minute of time that this head starts with uh, actually means that these areas are closer uh, to that than they are to this. So distance tests, 
cost raster is still going to be walk time. But now the source characteristic, we're actually saying uh, your start cost uh, cost you a little bit more. Uh, it actually uh, cost you start cost time. So same equation is going to be run, but just like I said, just imagine that you start at the value of three minutes, moving from this point versus two minutes at the bottom. Give it a moment to run. Right, and exactly what you'd expect. Closes the gap, right, between this area right down here. That's the only area where you see the change because that's where there's the difference in the minute factor. That lower start cost, starting at two minutes versus three, means you could get here quicker from this point than you could that.